Are you looking for the best EDC knives in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best EDC knives that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Benchmade EDC 940. The Benchmade EDC 940 is one of the most versatile and popular EDC knives ever. It's a bit on the pricey side, but being that's it's backed by Benchmade's LifeSharp program this knife will likely last a lifetime. Benchmade's LifeSharp is a program they offer free of charge to their customers in which you simply send in your knife and they ship it back to you, shiny, sharp, and cleaned up with everything fixed and looking like factory new. This applies to all Benchmade knives on this list and any Benchmade knife you can find on their website. By the way, Benchmade knives are now 100% made in the USA. This is the Iwata Cadillac style knife with capabilities of getting down and dirty when need be knife. It's beautiful, well-designed, elegant in nature, and absolutely terrifying should someone threaten you and have this deployed on them. Of course, I'm not advocating you use this on people, but if an EDC knife capable of self-defense is what you're after, Benchmade is on the same page with you. Number 4. Spyderco Delica 4. These Spyderco knives are downright thievery when you buy them because they really do offer a ton of value in such a small and low-cost package. $80 for this knife is absolutely nothing at all considering the fact that you're getting a 2.9-inch VG10 steel drop point blade coupled with a high-quality fiberglass reinforced nylon handle. If you've read the reviews on the other Spyderco knives that we like, such as the Tenacious, then you'll be familiar with the form factor found here with the Delica 4. You get that familiar triangular drop point style blade with the oversized Spyderco hole punched. So, what's the difference between the Spyderco Tenacious, Spyderco Manix, and the Spyderco Delica? Well, they're all pretty close in blade length with the Delica for being the shortest by a hair and they all come in a very similar form factor, however, the steel used for the blades are all different, making a significant difference in their performance and the jobs they handle well. Number 3. Benchmade Bugout 535 I know, you're probably wondering if I'm some corporate Benchmade shield by now since most of the top contenders on my list are from them and the truth is, I'm not sponsored by them, I just love their company philosophy and the quality they continually deliver. They have tons of knives, so many great knives that I could have made an entire EDC list out of just Benchmade alone. The Bugout is an excellent choice for exactly what the name implies, however, what makes a great Bugout knife, by default, also makes for a great EDC knife. These knives come with 3.24-inch manually opening blades that are drop-point blades in design and CPMS 30 v in material construction. Of course, you're getting the super strong axis locking mechanism that is by far the best on the market and those handles are some of the lightest handles on any knife of this size, consisting of glass-filled nylon. Number 2. Spyderco Manix 2. Something you'll notice immediately upon getting this knife in your hands is its exceptional smoothness. They achieve one of my favorite manual opening mechanisms by using a ball bearing system that rivals knives two to three times more expensive. These ball bearings are hiding in a super durable polymer encasement and allow the knife to lock and unlock with the push of its slide button. The handle you'll be getting is the popular and well-respected G10 with blacked out hardware including the pocket clip and all the screws. The biggest difference between the Paramilitary 2 and Manix 2 reviewed below is that the Manix 2 uses a ball bearing lock and the Paramilitary 2 uses a compression lock. Number 1. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Coming in with the ever so hefty CPMS 30V steel, the Paramilitary 2 is rugged and insanely tough. Everything about the Paramilitary simply makes sense, the knife is just as versatile as anything else on the market, is relatively lightweight and comes with arguably one of the best super steels on the market for a price point that doesn't break 200 bucks. What's not to like? If you're set on a Spyderco but are torn between a much cheaper VG10 and a CPMS 30V model like the Paramilitary 2, you really need to consider the long-term investment and your willingness to learn expert-level sharpening skills. For someone that just uses their knife once in a blue moon and enjoys the incredible corrosion resistance of VG10, the money saved would probably be the way to go as maintaining and sharpening a CPMS30V blade is much more difficult and time-consuming. 
A great alternative and money saver option to the CPMS-30V paramilitary, too, is the VG-10 Spyderco Delica.